Dude's Vision Quest unlocks the best form of fast travel in the game and is available after finding the Armadillo drill parts. The ability to warp rifts trivializes travel in Underrail, so it is in your best interest to complete it as early as possible. I was able to complete it at level 10 on Dominating. This requires 7 agility, 9 perception, 80 lockpicking, and around 90 stealth, these being the effective levels, not base. There are other ways around I will discuss if you can't beat all of these. I also did this as a female character, which rules out the option of using uniforms to pass speech checks. The last section of the quest is in the Grey Army base, which many players get stuck on and is what I will be covering today. So, after dealing with mutants, laser cats and a science lesson, we are given the juice and consuming it will open a rift. Huh. Where the hell are we making mushroom brew? Traversing it takes you to a storage closet in the Grey Army base, and the only way to escape is acquiring the gun lubricant oil found in the warehouse. Go into the vent and exit into the eastern locker room. Take the uniform that is in the open locker. As a male character, soldier and officer uniforms can be used to walk freely around the base, with some areas locked behind speech checks. As a female character, guards will see through your disguise if you get too close to them, and seduction does not work. However, they can still be used to bypass cameras. Go through the other vent within the room, which leads you to the bathroom, or a fan separating the shafts. 10 effective agility will allow you to pass through the fan, leading to a computer room. Three extra agility points can be obtained easily at this point of the game. K-pop armor, k pop boots or tabby boots, and eating a k pop steak will give plus one agility, so this check can be passed with seven base agility. If you can't go through the fan, you will have to lockpick the door outside of the bathroom at the end of the corridor. This requires 80 lockpicking. Extra lockpicking points can be accessed through picking up the jackknife in Old Junkyard, starting the JKK questline giving you the tactical jacket, eating eel sandwiches, and using a Mark II or Mark III lockpick, although Mark III's are hard to find at level 10. This is an extra 26 to 31 lockpicking accessible really early on. Either way, head into the Northern Zone bringing you into the main hall we're going to need to get upstairs in the northwestern part of the zone. A male character using the soldier disguise can walk around the halls, but will need an officer disguise to walk upstairs. This can be obtained by assassinating an officer in the southern bathrooms, also giving you a 1 in 3 medal oddity. Instead, I will need to use a disguise to bypass the camera outside of the armory, avoiding getting too close to any of the guards. The easiest way to do this is by initiating combat mode and running past them. It's important to know that if you're sneaking in this area on dominating difficulty, there are Spec Ops soldiers in the courtyard and armory. Spec Ops soldiers have very high detection and will spot you instantly even with high stealth. From here, we will need to go down a trapdoor that shortcuts to the stairs. There is one behind these crates, but you need an effective 6 strength to move the crate on top of it. Extra strength can be obtained by taking an adrenaline shot and eating right hand barbecue, giving free extra strength, making this doable even if you have minimum strength. Alternatively, you can sneak north into the cafeteria, where there is another trap door inside the kitchen closet. This shortcut leads us straight to the stairs. Upstairs, we need to get inside the northeastern office that holds the Magat Sin keycard, as well as another medal oddity and an officer uniform. Enter the vent, and from here you have two options. If you have effective 9 perception, you can find a secret passage which leads to the northwestern office that has an officer inside it. Sneaking past him allows you to go straight across the corridor into the office with the keycard. Perception can be raised by adaptive goggles and eating mushroom soup. The early feet snooping also gives plus 3 perception for finding secrets. Even with enough perception, you still need to sneak past the officer. I did this with 92 effective stealth. It's best to use tabby boots, preferably ninja because it raises stealth, as they improve your movement speed, reducing the detection window. Leather armor crafted with black cloth and or soft padding will also increase stealth, and every extra point in agility over 4 will give an extra 8.5%. If you can't pass the perception and stealth checks, you will need to lockpick the back door of the office, accessible by vent. This requires 90 lockpicking. As stated earlier, you can easily get around 30 extra lockpicking through early game items. 
Once you have the keycard, backtrack all the way to the main halls and find the warehouse on the western side. Open it up and go through the zone, using a disguise to bypass the camera. Inside, go through the door to the left and jump the fence requiring 7 agility. Again, it's easy to get 3 extra agility early on, so this can be done with 4 base agility. The only other way in is passing a persuasion check of 70 in an officer's uniform as a male character. From here, stealth to the northwest where you will find the lubricant on a shelf. Stick to the walls when doing this, especially on dominating difficulty because of the spec ops in the room. Once you have the lubricant, go back to dude and you have finished the quest. Well, take care, man. Gotta get back. Sure. Take it easy, dude. Oh, yeah. I know that you will. Yeah, well, the dude abides. <laughs>